Hello Jemmy! Today, since we reviewed M01 and M02 in the mm -hmm. last video, how about today we review M03 and M04? Sure! Yeah! So let's go over the how to place M03 and M04 and the rules of it. So let's start with M03. Okay, M03 is called Rotating Radar, right? Correct. And the prop is called the prop is called radar? Correct. The prop is also called the lit radar. And how to place it correctly is that this slide beam, right? Mm -hmm. You see this one? Yeah. It needs to be facing towards the manual stage. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. That gets me not confused anymore. And this long pole that holds both of the EVA balls, you see? Yeah. Needs to be facing towards the line submissions. Right. So if this was the blue team, then, then this would be facing the line submission? Yep. Oh, okay. Thank you. And also, this long slide beam right here is double-sided duct tape, which means that if it pastes down to the arena, you can't just like what am and hit it down like that. Yeah. So and it's stuck there. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And now for M04. Okay. Do you know what M04 is called? Activate door switch. Yep, and the prop, it's a little bit tricky. The door type switch? Yeah, correct. Good job, Jemmy. So how you place it is that there will be this rectangular outline for you and you place it on the arena floor like that. Mm -hmm. And this is this little foot thing right here ha has its own outline right here. Yeah. And this is different from M03 because it's not double-sided duct tape down. Mm -hmm. So you can ram this one. Yep. So now let's review the mission target. All so right. the goal for both missions is for the EVA balls to drop onto the arena floor. Yep, and the mission score is that each EVA ball, it can be either red or blue, it each scores 20 points. So the max points for both of these is 40. So now for the scoring judgment. Okay. So this is how the MBOT scores. So mm -hmm. if the balls are inside the arena, like this is the competition frame, and this is the arena, that counts as 20 points. Mm -hmm. And if it's partially, partially in, for example, like on the competition frame that also still counts okay so could you explain the conditions that don't count for me sure so the conditions that don't count number condition one is that if your robot is still and an eva ball is still stuck onto your robot mm -hmm. that eva ball doesn't count anymore oh. but if you're still moving your mbot's still doing stuff and it just bounces off your mbot like that yeah it, it still counts if it doesn't touch oh. your mbot at the end oh okay thank you so if this is what happens if your MBOT like is done with the code, everything, and then an EVA ball is still stuck to it, yeah, that EVA ball does not score 20 points. Oh, okay, thank you. And the second condition is that if it's completely outside the arena, mm. so like it's outside the competition frame, right, and then that doesn't count either. Okay, thank you. So even if it's still contacting with the competition frame from outside the arena, yeah. That doesn't count. Oh, okay, thank you. So now after this, we're going to go to the arena, right? I'm gonna be taking yep. M03, and you're and gonna be I'm taking, taking M04. Okay, and I bet you still, you got an idea in your mind already, right? Yeah, I have a plan, I have a strategy, Jemmy. Okay. And just give me a little bit of time and I'll be as good as good. Okay, and so yeah, see you in the arena. I wish you good luck, bye. I wish you good luck. So, Jemmy, are you ready to show us your mission? Sure, I'm 100% ready. So, well, I'll me? go first, okay? Okay, well, I am too. Okay, but can I go first? Sure, go on. Okay, so my bot, as you can see, is kind of like last time's for M01, but instead of having like um, a little hook over here, I have a little hook down here. So, this is used for pushing M03, like pushing it like this. So, yeah, it's kind of plain but yeah it still works very good design okay thank you so now i'm going to demonstrate how my code will work with my hand sure so first of all it runs line until 1111 then mm -hmm. moves for a little bit so it's outside the circle okay. and then it sets it to resets its timer and it run lines timer equals to five and run line and zero 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 okay so it's going to stop over there so it's going right. to like go here at power 30 cent, which is the key. Like this, like this, and you're gonna hit it, then it's gonna go all the way here and then stop. Oh, uh, okay. So can I run it for you? Sure, I wanna see if it works. Okay. Ready? So, yeah. Steady. 
Go! Okay, so it comes up like this. And it passes the black back. circle. It goes on. on and then it hits it. it yes. like that. And then it gets out. And then it stops over there. Good job, Jimmy. Thank you. That's the most impressive code I've seen in like a long time. Okay, so now let's move on to your mission. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you my M bot, okay? Sure. So how I made it is that there's this back thing over here, there's this one pole over here, and one pole over here parallel to each other. Then I have the one side beam over here, and another side beam, and then this long pole, which I'm gonna use to hit the prop like that. Okay. I'm gonna throw the balls into the manual and the auto stage. Okay. So I'm gonna demonstrate how I did it. So I go like this, and I move forward until this black circle, which is one, one, and one. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna move forward to pass over it. Go on, go on, go on until it's zero, 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 zero. I'm going to move forward a bit. Then I'm going to turn right like that, and then. I'm going to move backwards. And hit it. Yeah, like that. So, and then I'm gonna move forward a bit so that my M-Bot doesn't stay hitting the prop. Mm -hmm. So now should I run my M-Bot to see if my plan works? Sure. Okay, Here, thank you. So you can have the honor of pressing it, okay? Okay. Your cat's gonna have it too. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. So it passed the black circle. Man, it got some speed there. Yep, and turns it just, around and pushes yay! it. Yay! We have accomplished it. I mean, you have. <laughs> okay. So, so you are as good as good, like last video. And Yay! It looks really stable and really quick. Can you show me how to do the code? It sure. looks really good. And yours also looks really good. Could you show me how to do your code? Sure. So and we share ch we share yeah. our code, okay? And also, Jimmy, one more comment. Last last time you were as great as great, and now you're as awesome as awesome. Okay, sure. <laughs> I don't really care. Okay, so now let's move on to the coding section. Let's go! Bye. See ya. Okay guys, now this is my code for M03. I'm gonna explain a little bit to you. First, you should switch to upload mode and then add the extension called RGB line follower. After that, make a new block called run line. And then after that, we're gonna show what, what run line is. Run line is left wheel turn at power, which is a variable. You have to create a variable in here. Plus RGB line follower differential speed. And then right line, right wheel at power minus RGB line follower differential speed. So after we've got this, then we should, we'll go into when Mbot and Core starts up, and then we're gonna initialize our RGB line follower at port two. But what port is we're on? You have to change it on your own. I'm at port three. So once we've got that, then we say RGB line follower set target color fill to green. But you can choose either red, green, or blue. It doesn't matter. And now the last one is RGB line follower set turning sensitivity to 0 0.9. 0 0.9, we have tested it and we have proved that it is the best sensitivity to use. After that, we're going to set our power to 40, but if you want to go quicker, then you set it like more than 40. But if you want to go like less fast, then you set it less than 50. Now we set it as 40, and I'm going to change this to 37 because that's my um, power for M03. After that, we're going to go in for ever loop, and we're gonna say if onboard button pressed, then we're gonna wait until when onboard button released. After it's released, then we're going to say repeat run line until RGB line follower probe status is the text 1111, which is um, the black circle in front the way to M01. After that, we're going to move forward a little bit, so it'll be over that. After that, we're going to reset our timer, and then we're gonna say repeat until it finds zero, 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 which is a white intersection, and timer is greater than five. So it should stop at the opposite end. And then we're gonna stop moving. That's a really simple code. Now you just gotta connect them together, put it under the wait until, and then you've got your M03 code. Now let's go look at Appy's code. 
So this is my code for M04 and um, for like a trick on programming is that when you program it, you program a section and then you go play your mbot and you program another section and then go play your mbot and you'll finally end up with a code. And now as you see, I have separated my code so that we could look at it one by one. So first this, um, this code is define my block, which is run line. So it's just set power, to, set power left to power plus motor differential speed and set power right to power minus RGB line follower motor differential speed. And the last block of code is left wheel turns at power left. So it's this and, and right wheel turns at power right. And if you don't know power and power left and power right is a variable, as you see, three variables. And now I'm gonna talk about actually setting up the thing. The mbot so this is so when the mbot m core starts up we initialize our rgb line follower we set our target color and fill to green and we turn our sensitivity to 0.9 because i've looked at a lot of numbers and i think that 0.9 is the best one for sensitivity and power is just the speediness of your mbot um i'm gonna set it to 100 and then I'm gonna put in a forever loop when we press the onboard button, wait until the onboard button is released, and then we're gonna do this actual code. So the first block of actual code is we run line until the black circle, which is 1111, then we move forward to pass it, move forward 100% for 0 0.3 seconds, and then we're gonna reset our timer, because we're gonna use it, and then we're going to run line until 0000, 000, 000 and timer is more than two because remember there's a lot of zero 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 like a lot of pathways of zero 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 along the way and we want the one that's closest to m04 then we stop moving and then we're going to um move forward so that like our so our mba can move forward turn right and then come back so that it can hit our m04 and the ball is out so first we're gonna get our move forward and then we're gonna turn right, turn right like this. This is where you like turn right like that so that our mbot faces the prop backwards. And then you're gonna move backwards. This is where our mbot hits the ball off with 100% for 0.2 seconds. And we're gonna move forward so that our mbot like is done without touching the prop and it's not an invalid prop. So now we're gonna connect them all together since we finished with the code. So how I recommend you take this out is you take out the wait until and you start from there, as I always say. So click code. We go on, we go on, we go on, and our last block of code. And then we take this way until into this if, and there we go. That's M04's code. So I hope that you found this useful, and thank you for watching, bye. So now that we've finished the code, we'd like to tell you that this is just a basic concept for you to adapt and apply to your Make X 2020 competition. Yep, so I'm going to tell you a bit of my problem on M03. You'd think that M03 would be really easy. All you've got to just like hit this and let the two balls fall down into the arena. How hard could that be, right? Yeah. But it's actually really hard because although it looks simple, it's really delicate because the speed, it like, is the key factor to this. So if you go too fast like that, then one ball would go into the manual stage and the other right. one would go into the automatic stage. So you're gonna have to experiment with lots of speeds, yeah. right? Yeah, and if you go too slow, then one of them will fall into the arena, but the other one will just like, eh, and stay on the this thing. Okay, and one of the problems that I had was that when I was building th these poles right here, these two poles, sometimes they were too up. Like they were too high and this didn't even reach the balls, just went above. And sometimes they were too low and it hit the prop instead of the balls. And these made both of the balls fall into the automatic stage. Oh. Yeah, so I needed to experiment with that, like you, trial and error. Yep. Mm -hmm. So since we're done with M03 and M04, our next clip will be about M05. So stay tuned for that. Yep. Now for comment.freelyblog.com. 
This website is where you can give us statements, encouragements, questions, or concerns. Every comment truly means a lot to us. So all you need to do is click Write New Entry, and you will just need to submit your comment, and that. The link is in the description below. And there's one more thing we need to tell you. To subscribe, like, and share.